Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7. We're back with a track guide at Sardegna A in reverse. Now we're in group four, BOP on, racing hard tires for this guide and we're using the Alpha 155 as you can see on screen at the moment. So this is this week's Daily Race C. I managed to set a lap time that was in the top 10 for the top 10 world times, but it's probably nowhere near that now. I predict it's probably around 15th to 20th, something like that, but it's a reasonable lap. There's a lot of potential still to go a bit faster and we're going to try and help you out as much as possible. So if you do enjoy these videos, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments how much it improves your lap by. Like I say, I always love reading them comments and I always check them out. So make sure you let me know in the comments. Now, I apologize for my voice because I am currently in the stage of losing my voice. I've got a bit of a cold, but we're going to get on with this and crack on and try and get this guide to help you go as fast as you can at this combination. It's going to be very important to find every tenth of a second around here because the qualifying is going to be super, super close because the nature of this track, it's quite a simple track. Lap times are going to be closer than you think, even though it's quite long. So let's get this underway. Let's help you go as fast as possible and let's get you on that grid position as high up as we can. So start on your lap. First things first, this first corner, you want to carry as much speed as possible. Now, with the Alpha, make sure you shift just before the end of the rev range. You can see that I'm not revving it completely out. Now, watch the line through here. We're going to extend to the right a bit and use a bit of this grey tarmac on the right-hand side. So, as you see there, you can see the ghost that I'm chasing using that little bit of, you can see left-hand tire almost on the white line. And now, we're going to give it a little bit of a safety lift. Now, this is just a little lift off the throttle to transfer the weight to the front of the car to enable us to carry a little bit more speed through this fast left-hand corner. So then, back on that throttle and running the car all the way to the barrier as close as possible. You really have to be pushing through there. Now, next braking zone, we're looking for the 100 board and we're going to brake just before that 100 board. So, as we approach it here, you're going to see the braking inputs going in. So, keeping the car to the left, braking inputs going in nice and early there just before the 100 board. And we're going to brake in a straight line, keeping them downshifts in a straight line. Now use this little bit of tarmac on the left hand side. You see the car in front doing that, the ghost in front. And you're going to widen the line in and square the car and rotate it so that you're coming out this exit on the throttle. So you can see throttle inputs going in nice and early, accelerating up this hill. So important. Again, another corner there. That's really important to get that corner right. You can gain a tenth by just getting on that throttle super early. Now this is a tricky corner, one of the trickier corners on the track. Coming through here, all you're going to do is pretty much turn in at the end of the curb on the left hand side there. And you're going to give it a little lift, just a little lift off the throttle, no braking input, just a tiny little lift off the throttle. And that's going to transfer the weight for the rotation. And now you're going to try and get this car as close to that barrier as possible as you get back on the throttle. So you can see early on the throttle, skimming the barrier and left hand tire should get onto this little bit of curb on the left hand side, really, if you're pushing the limits and then just about keep the car away from the barrier on the right hand side and now into this next tricky braking zone. Now, what you need to do for this corner is you want to be braking around about that little triangle that you can see on the left there, the second one before the end, you can see. And we're on the brakes pretty much in a line with that. Now, as you're coming into here, you're going to put a bit of brake and accelerating input at the same time. That's going to steady the car and keep it a little bit stable through this corner. That'll stop the rear snapping on you. And be careful on your downshift, making sure you don't downshift in an awkward place on the apex. And then, as we come into here, you're going to rotate very similar how we did turn two. Wide line on the throttle as early as you can to get the exit speed from this corner. Now we're going to be powering our way flat out, no lifting off. This is completely flat out all the way into the next braking zone. So you can see completely flat, making sure you shift just before the end of the rev range and then come into this fast left hand corner. You're not going to lift here. This is just going to be flat out and then you're going to be looking for the 50 board on the right hand side braking just short of the 50 board you can actually see you're braking where that marshal is at that fence so as we come to that point there on the brakes nice and early now this is going to give you enough time to rotate the car through this long right hand corner downshift to third gear let the car start rotating in and then get on the throttle so early you want to be on that throttle super early to carry the speed out the exit of this corner again another corner that's going to be so important to get that momentum from the exit. Now we're gonna be looking for the 50 board. We're gonna break in between the 100 and the 50 board, but a little bit closer to the 50 board. And again, make sure you break before that 50 board. Do not break on it, because that'll be way too late. Downshifting through the gears into second gear. And again, wanna get this left-hand tire close to the curb on the left-hand side. You wanna get it rotating in. So wait for it to rotate. And then once you feel the car rotating, get on that throttle nice and early. Helps the car rotate in second gear. Then when at the maximum revs, upshift to third gear and keep on that throttle all the way through, skimming the curve on the right-hand side and powering your way into the next group of corners. 
Now again, as we're coming into these final group of corners, you want to keep the car nice and stable. So flat out all the way, keeping the right hand tire up to the curb on the right hand side and then rotating in here. Now you're going to get on the brakes around this point nice and early before the apex because you want to get this car rotating to the left and going in a straight line. So once the car's in a straight line, downshift to third gear, keep that car settled at this point. That's why you need to brake heavy once you're in a straight line because you're keeping the car to the left, then rotating into the right, down to second gear, off the brake and onto that accelerator as early as you can. The earlier you get on that accelerator, the more gains you're going to get on this straight. So it's really important to get on that throttle nice and early to carry the momentum all the way to the finishing line. Now this lap, we're going to go over the line and I think it's a 1 minute 48.1. There was a lot more potential with this. We did this um, on stream. So I think we could have pushed that with a few errors that we made there to a 48 flat, I think. So let's watch that lap again from the chase camera. You can see using that little bit of tarmac on the right hand side, left hand tire touching the white line, skimming the curb, completely flat, didn't go up to the grass and then using that 100 ball braking just short of that. Using that little bit of curb on the left there as well for extra rotation into the corner. Could have got a little bit closer to the um, barrier on the right hand side for the wall. Could have gained maybe half a tenth there by being a bit more aggressive. And then this corner, did this corner pretty well. Got it nice and close to the apex on the throttle. Ran a little bit wide but got away with it because we managed to get that left hand tire onto the, the actual tarmac bit pretty quick. And then through here, you see, keeping that car nice and stable with the brake and accelerator at the same time. If you don't do that, it's a high chance that the rear can snap on you, so make sure you're doing that to help the car out in that braking phase. Then it's completely flat out all the way through here. You're just basically shifting before that line. You can see I'm not revving it all the way up to the maximum rev, just a tiny bit early. And then we're going to be going on the brakes just before the 50, basically in between the 100 and the 50. But I use that little Marshall post on the left there. It's a really good reference to use and then you're trying to rotate the car through that corner whilst getting on the throttle as early as possible. Again, that corner, another one that's really important to get on that throttle super early. And again here, down to second gear, use second gear with throttle to rotate the car, and then once the car's rotated into third gear, flat out, use the kerb on the left-hand side as well, and then you're going into that final group of corners to try and keep the car stable. This again is another corner where it's easy to snap, like I said before. Keep it nice and smooth. Downshift the third once you're in a straight line. Don't, if you downshift too early, that's where the snap can happen. So make sure you, you know, you're careful on that downshift and then working your way to the finishing line for a pretty solid lap. Hopefully this will help you out in the time trial and also the race because this is the car to use for the race conditions as well. It's very much an OP car. So you're going to be using this in time trial in the race and hopefully this guide will get you a few positions higher and make you finish a little bit higher. Let me know in the comments, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. I'll see you soon for more videos. Bye everyone.